Good day everybody. Today I'm going to do my pour with some gel stains. So just having a little break from from um, resin because I've got some things drying and um, setting so I'll just do uh, one of these pours. So this is just Floetrol in this bottle and I just want to mix a little bit with this um, this white just to um, just for the background so what I was thinking of doing is just uh, do a puddle pour so these uh, products are called boom gel stain and I'm not promoting or anything I just people ask me what it is what I'm what, what I'm using so that's what I've used I've purchased them quite some time ago and I think I only did one or two um, trials with them and then I got stuck into resin which is what I do so I thought oh, I might as well play with them a little bit but I'm quite impressed because sometimes if you leave paint sitting for months and months they they separate and do funny things but this one is um, it's quite okay the only one that I've noticed is the gold that's separated but you just give it a little shake and then it's fine it's absolutely normal for metallics to do that because the pigment is heavier and and it tends to drop okay so that's that so I'm just going to use oh, I'll just use this little knife just to spread it and at the bottom I've just uh, jammed a piece of cardboard just to keep this nice and flat you can use stretches and stretch it but I find sometimes these paints are a bit heavy and then they they tend to gather in the in the middle and ruin my design so that's why I did that it's a bit harder to do on bigger canvases but um, it can be done you just need a big cardboard big piece of cardboard okay so that's it it's all there so that will be moved and pushed with um, with the rest of the paint so I'm not too worried about how it looks at the moment it's just there for movements and one of the reasons why I added flow troll is to help that move now you can see a few bubbles there so I'm just going to go around with my little torch and pop those bubbles. And there you go. Now this um, gel uh, stain is quite thick. So if you want you can um, dilute it. But I'm going to just try and go with it straight from the bottle. And just create some puddles and then move them with my air brush. So here we go. Straight on there. Um, if you're on a tight budget, which most of us are, <laughs> I would recommend that you dilute them because they will last longer. Like I said, I've got so many paints and I, I need to use them up and make room for some more pigments for my um, resin art. Okay, so I'm going to put some of that gold straight on top here. And then I'm going to go with this Marley Ring Neck Blue. A bit hard to pronounce some of them. But they're named after, I, I believe it's an Australian bird, that one. Some more white on here. Might go with a red. Flame Tree Red. Oh, open up. There we go. Right in there, and maybe a little bit of black over that red. Just not too much. I don't want it to overpower it. And some more gold. This is a lovely gold. This one. And what haven't I used? 
flip the green, the blue, the white, the red, and the black. And okay, so I might go a little bit with this green in the middle. So just tilt it like this. It's moving very slowly because it's quite thick. You can do a swipe. In fact, I might just do a tiny little swipe just to see how it looks just real quick just from here to there like so and you can see all those cells look at that I don't know if you can see that up there but they're opening up beautifully look at wow it's gorgeous wow look just all by itself there's no nasty silicone or anything in there I'm just popping the bubble that's all I'm doing really really cool that okay but that's not what I started to do I wanted to use my airbrush and move these pigments outwards so what I'll do is I'm just going to get a little bit more white in here just to help that um, and let's see what happens Got to stand up. Wow, all these ends have got really cool um, effects on there. Torch a little bit, pop the bubbles, you can see them popping. I reckon I'm going to put a little bit more gold right in here and then move that, maybe even a little bit of black just over the top of it, just a drop. Get it down there and then just try and fix up these areas here okay here we go. go this way a little bit up here Just extend that out a little bit and this side here Oh, that's better that's so noisy now just extending these out a bit just to complete the picture and there's some really cool things happening there already but I have to fix things so I've got to keep going like this not to disturb some really cool bits. Oh, I've got some paint on me. Maybe just a tiny little bit over here. A little bit here, shall we? Just to make it look like um, it, it, it's all spread out. So that's it, I'm not going to, maybe I just, just a little bit here actually, with this gold. 
So that's all pulling in. That's it. I am not going to touch it anymore. I'm just going to leave it. Definitely a little bit more torchy just to pop these bubbles. And that's all I'm using it for, popping bubbles, because the torch is not creating any cells with this, this particular uh, paint. It's just there to pop the bubbles. I'm going to bring it down so you can see actually how cool that all looks. And uh, so once it dries, it'll dry flat. And, um, and then I'll take a couple of photos of it while it's um, dry so that you can see the difference. Okay. Righto. Let's start in this corner here. Just so that you can see how easy it was to create this. And it's still moving. So it will change a bit more for that. Just a delicate little, like a feather effect there. Huge cells, colourful cells, look at that. Okay, so that's down to there. And then going in the middle. So you can see the middle as well. Oops, getting blurry. Oh, it's a pretty colour. So there you have it. Boom gel stains. Somebody asked me a while ago if it's the same as the American unicorn paint or unicorn gel. Um, and I asked the supplier and she says it's nothing like it. It's completely different and used for different things. So there you have it. That's um, really cool. Okie dokie. That's it for me. Bye for now. Okay, so it's moved a little bit, so I had to give it a little bit more with the airbrush. And now it has stopped moving, and now I'm happy with it. It, it, it was, wasn't leveled properly, and it kind of moved to one side, but I actually like it better now. So there you go.